Zack Snyder's Justice League is one of the best superhero films of all time. And first, if you disagree, I got a slideshow ready. We can go frame by frame, baby. This is a definition of adaptation at its finest, truly peak auteurship. At the time of the release of his director's cut, Funko did release 4,500 piece exclusive black and white metallic DC shop exclusive Funko Pops. This included Superman, Diana Prince, Desaad, and Darkseid, two of the main heroes heroes and two of the main villains i couldn't ask for anything more i love seeing desaad as a pop because he wasn't in the version that was in the theatrical release they also released a 500 piece four pack which i do have and will show off separately before these pops these sold out really quick and were immediately priced high on the resale market out of all of my collecting years these are the pops that i overpaid for the most i'll admit it spending anywhere from 50 dollars to 100 dollars, i wanted them immediately into my collection these these can all be found pretty close to retail price now. Pretty, pretty big drop, I'll be honest. Except the five pack, it's still a little bit of a rare piece. That one, you got to find the right buyer and the right seller. You can make something happen. I was so sad, though, when I learned the price drop, but that's the beauty of collecting. I honestly learned a really good lesson, so I'm happy it happened. It has to happen to the best of us, guys. I love all four of these. Absolutely no complaints in the lineup. I love the special edition and exclusivity. If you're a fan of the Snyderverse, I recommend adding these to your collection as we are now moving into James Gunn's new DCU, which I want to collect every single pop for, but I would have loved to see the next two Justice League films come into fruition but for now we can kind of admire the artistry and the concepts through these pops so let's take a closer look at them individually now outside of the Zack Snyder Justice League pops there are just normal Justice League pops from the theatrical version quite a few actually but specifically focusing on the Zack Snyder version I also wanted to share I'll put on screen all of the different Zack Snyder Justice League pops that currently exist I do have these ones signed by Ray Porter who I will tell the story in a little bit in the dark side section of this video but yeah you can see massive sun damage the pink on these pops because i got them and picked them up on site when i was getting the autograph when i went to see Zack snyder and that event was actually full circle and it was for suicide prevention because his uh, his daughter sadly passed away due to suicide which halted the filming and had joss whedon take over but i noticed in editing i didn't mention that it was for suicide prevention so i wanted to do that real quick but they also had at the universal store the dark side on throne pop and i was able to even make it out to me I also got a little bit of a poster sign that they handed out at the event with the, so we, we were able to get some pretty cool items with Ray Porter but this isn't just about Ray Porter I also wanted to take a look at the specifically the DC shop of exclusives which is what this video is for so we have the four normal four inch ones and then we have this four pack right here which is beautiful I'm gonna be honest 500 piece exclusive there these are pretty rare but like I was saying earlier the price goes varies really hard it can go anywhere from like 150 200 dollars to like 300 400 dollars depending on the ask and specifically the condition 500 pieces usually means that if one breaks someone rips one open something happens to it it's very very hard to find a replacement I believe mine had a something a little bit somewhere it was pretty it was pretty nifty from what I can remember I got this a long long time ago and I wanted to come back after the Zack Snyder event and literally quickly drive back pick this up go back and try and have Ray Porter sign and I probably would have had enough time like I was saying pretty much just ended up going to the store next to the theater and just decided to get the sun damaged pops because I didn't want to risk it also parking is kind of a pain at Universal let's be honest but this is a beautiful port pack and four four pack and I can't get over it I mean come on we got the logo front and center right there this is in a protector of course we can take it out of the protector and taking a look at the back this one's actually pretty beautiful I gotta be honest there is almost no damages as you can see on uh, with the light right there the top also looks really good we got no veins on the top it's just beautiful all four of them laid out it says four pack we got the common wave right there I think it looks really cool when it's like elongated like that all the pops right there and then the front I mean come on this pop this pop is just too cool in my opinion this is the ultimate Zack Snyder piece of merchandise for the Justice Le his Justice League film I think this is the one of the rarer ones and this is the one that I would personally 
hunt for if I uh, well if I didn't already have it because yeah this is this one's a beaut even the bottom is nice man we got to get this back in the protector one day I do hope to get this signed though this might be actually yeah the number one thing that I try and get signed by each of them the first time I get the chance but who knows what the future holds I've had this in the collection for a little bit now and I am so happy I do I highly encourage anyone to go out hunt for this add it to the collection it's a legendary piece for sure and here is a look at the poster that we actually got at the event i honestly don't remember if i paid for it or if we got it but i was able to get ray porter right there right on dark side i think this poster looks sick has so much meaning behind it full circle the name of the event and all of snyder's movies and films you have the date that the, they were running during the event for man of steel batman v superman and the Zack snyder justice league so cool to see those at the different theaters but yeah this is the poster we got and i was luckily able to get it signed by ray porter so i thought I'd show that off first up is superman perfect stance perfect design everything about this pop is perfect to me and it would probably be my first item to get signed by henry cavill if i ever did get the chance here on the back you can see the normal common wave that's not black and white and that, yeah you could pick those up at any retailers but it's just nice to see something pretty unique and actually different from funko especially at the time this is a little while ago but i just love henry cavill in general i fell in love with him once i saw him how he built his own pc kind of inspired me a little bit to do that for myself and now appearing in the MCU this guy is just booked and busy and I am hyped for any future projects with him but let's take a little bit closer look at this Superman pop oh my gosh I just the black and white also there was a black and white version of the film so that's kind of where this inspiration comes from with the release of the director's cut I mean everything about the story in the background of how this film was actually created is gorgeous and the pops are just fantastic all four of them once again we got the four main characters and the side of the box just looks fantastic black it really looks black and white instead of like unpainted or something has that metallic a little bit of effect too this is a fantastic looking pop exclusive 4,500 pieces from the DC shop. Oh man. Yeah. I gotta say this is probably one of my favorite Superman pops. I love the box design for Zack Snyder's justice league. Instead of just a normal justice league, we got the director's cut on these boxes specifically. And yeah, I just love it. even on the back right there. I love the logo so much with DC at the top. Oh, Love this film, love this pop, super, super big fan, and I highly suggest, if you add any of them, it'll probably be this one, even though this one is a little bit priced up. I think it's a little bit closer to like $30, $50, depending on where you can get it. Next up, we have Diana Prince or Wonder Woman. I mean, this pop is also great. It's not her in her actual outfit, but from a specific moment in the scene when she's getting words from the mascara about the attack from Steppenwolf, I love the white jacket. It looks so clean. She is actually holding the arrow in her hand. You can see right there. Really, really cool moment, especially in black and white. And even the white pops. Like you can clearly tell that is a really, really bright white. It sticks out a little bit more than the uh, gray effects. It looks just so, so good. Diana Prince taking a look at the back. We got half her face, more of the branding and the logo. My gosh, this pop is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. One of my favorite ones, and honestly, this is up there as well as one of the first pops I would probably get signed by Gal Gadot if I ever did meet her, but that's there's that's tough. There's a lot of great Wonder Woman products out there for sure. Once again, we got the 4,500 piece exclusivity limited edition on the DC shop. Metallic looks great. Doesn't look lazy at all. These honestly look like rare pops. I'm surprised of how low they truly are. I love this one, and I would definitely recommend to add this one into your guys' collection as well if you guys are picking up or see these in the one. I have to say that Desaad is one of my favorite characters that were added into the Zack Snyder's director's cut. I can't believe he was cut from the theatrical version. Joss Whedon, if you know the story, oh my gosh, why did you change so much? 
He was seemed like he had a lot of potential to be a fantastic character, and I would love to see how his character would have played out in part two and part three or second and third movie. Either way, I'm glad we got a pop for him. Peter Guinness did the motion capture and voice work for Desaad in the in the director's cut, and man, did he do a fantastic job. He was super menacing, just a really unique voice, almost a little bit iconic throughout himself, and man, I wish we got more of him. But once again, we can explore the artistry of the film through this pop. Desaad Saw looks so menacing right here. I love it. So much detail on that face. The metallic really, really shows up on his outfit, and yeah, you can see it right there. You can see a little bit more of his outfit and the details on it. It looks almost like chainy. I don't know. All the all the armor that they have looks uncomfortable, I must admit. Either way, though, I love the fit, love the character, love the pop. I love the design around it, and man, oh yeah, one thing I haven't really pointed out yet, and just in general, is how the DC Shop sticker color just sticks out because of the black and white effect. I love that as well the only other color is on the back uh, looking at the commons oh man yeah this is another gorgeous pop and i am super stoked to add this one into the collection i would really hope i could meet him one day that'd be so sick but anyways let's take a look at dark side now we have seen his apprentice and it's a good pop and i'm super stoked that they add this added this one into the little exclusivity collection for this last but not least we got the man himself dark side i love this one as well I would say that maybe, if anything, his face looks a little funny, but I love his body and the giant uh, hammer that he has. This is straight up a scene from when he originally took on Earth from the flashback, I believe. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong on that. But again, I just love this pop. It looks so fantastic. I'm glad we got him armored up. It looks super sick. I'm actually, I would love to take this one out of box, but definitely overpaid on this bad boy too. I thought he'd be a grail at the time. And here we are, just pretty cheap Funko Pop these days, but I love him. I love the design. I have actually met Ray Porter, who I was actually lucky to meet at an event last year in 2023. Zack Snyder trucked through LA, premiering all his different work in the Snyderverse and all the films at different movie theaters. And I was lucky enough to go to the Justice League one where at the end, they had a Q&A where Ben Affleck, Ray Porter, and a few other big names, uh, Cyborg, so, so much, it was so, so cool did a Q&A and at the end Ray Porter actually went outside the theater and was willing to sign stuff and I did get a few items signed no authentication or anything obviously I was just there it was a great time I was able to meet him talk to him big crowd around him he was so so kind and literally at the store right next to the movie theater at Universal there at the Universal walkway there were dark side pops from the Zack Snyder Justice League. So yeah, I got those one signed. I wish, I wish I could have got the four pack or this one signed, but I did not have them on me at the time. I could have made a run for the four pack, but I didn't think I'd make it back in time. I so would have. That's big regrets to be honest, but oh man, I am happy to add these in the collection. Maybe one day I get, can get the chance to see him at a convention or something. Cause yeah, he was a really, really friendly guy and he made me like dark side so, so much more. And I mean, I already loved Love the character he was fantastic but if once you get to know the actor and you find out they're just great people it just you go you want to root for them you really do and this is one of those situations i love this then the box for the branding as well helps us look a little bit more menacing i just love the actual design of the pop huge eyes big big frown i was gonna say smile that's definitely not a smile just great looking pop all together. There you can see it with, uh, if it were colored in, that is what Dark Side would look. That's what all of them will look like. I still think Dark Side and Desaad look pretty menacing, but I think the black and white metallic effect goes a long, long way here. And yeah, this looks super exclusive. And I would have to say, if you want a big villain in your collection, this is a fantastic way to go. Good looking pop. And it's cheap right now, and I don't even know if it'll ever rise up, but there's only 4,500 of them, which is a little bit on the lower side for Pop. So if you're a fan, definitely add this one in your collection. I am so happy we got these four pops and the four pack. The DC shop doesn't exist like it used to. Back in the day when this released, you could watch movies, TV shows, read comics. You could do all sorts of things, and now I'm pretty sure you can only read comics at that website. 
but I am obsessed with these pops. I love, again, once again, Zack Snyder's Justice League. I think it's one of the best superhero films of all time. Best adaptations of all time. Again, he is a true auteur. When he has a vision, he can make it happen in filmmaking. You might not agree with all the decisions, what he decides to do. There's definitely some controversial things if he did make the second and third one with Batman, Superman, and Lois. But either way... We got some beautiful filmmaking, some beautiful pops here, great autograph potential, great collecting, others potential. I just am literally cannot speak as highly about these. They are, like I said, the lowest price they will probably ever be right now, pretty close to retail. I'd pick them up, add them into your collection. They're unique. Once again, 4,500 pieces is a pretty small number in retrospect. Some 2,000 piece pops can still go for quite a lot of money. Maybe the rarity and price of these pops will increase like crazy but for now again they just make great additions into the collection and they make me happy so uh i really just hope to get them signed one day anyways hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day if you guys want to see other funko collections check out the playlist in the description check out my most recent one because we got a library of stuff now we are making so many different funko pop videos that you guys will be able to come here look for anything and know what to hunt for if you guys are ever hunting collecting Funko Pops or other collectibles. But yeah, that sums it up. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out, homies. Bye.